Okay. I'm here with uh, Justin. My name is uh, Moritz from uh, the Endorphins cabin crew. And um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the uh, shuttle system, which is our complete, more or less complete range of uh, modules available in the Eurorack. Um, I will make a short run through the different stages of the system. Signal flow begins on the right side and goes to the left side. We're starting with a very capable 16 output MIDI 2 CV converter called the shuttle control. Um, you can store up to 16 presets and freely assign every kind of MIDI um, output you want to have in CV. So uh, since the latest firmware it's already working with MPE, uh, which is used by Rolly Seaboard and different un other manufacturers for uh, control units. Um, so you can have a full M MPE mapping on the shuttle control. Um, the next one is the further generator, probably the best known module we have. It's the dual complex waveform oscillator based on the idea of the Buchler 259 with the modulator oscillator and the carrier oscillator and the modulation matrix in the middle with ring, amplitude, frequency and further modulation. The further modulation is modulating the wave shaper on the end of the um, modulation matrix and um, the final output is the signal we, we will hear later on. Um, right here we have the gateway. The gateway is a, a utility module. Um, it uh, is connected to the grand terminal, which I will explain next. So a few of the functionalities in this module are connected directly to the grand terminal. And on the upside and downside here we have two tuners. Um, they are properly set up on the other uh, rig, um, but I can explain that quick and easy. Without the patch cables it's easier to see. Uh, you give a pitch CV to the tuner, then you give an audio signal from the oscillator you want to tune to listen to, and then you put the CV output into the oscillator you're playing or tuning, and then you press an A key and press this button, and then it automatically tunes to the next A. And you have twice of them. Um, so you can, this is a six range octave manipulator, and this is a, a fine tune. So. Um, coming to the uh, Grand Terminal, the Grand Terminal is a, a fully digital module with uh, two envelopes and two filter sets and effects. It's our pre-output stage, I would say. It comes in stereo or in mono, mono modular level, stereo headphone level. Uh, you have eight different filters inside that you can switch like this with X and Y. It's cut off and resonance in most of the cases of the filter, but we have, for instance, a comp filter, which is an Alpass, which actually doesn't have um, uh, a, a cutoff in that way, or um, so it doesn't close. So the envelopes are applied to the filters, and therefore we are modulating the sound. So, also we have some effects up here. So it's eight different effects. You can switch them like this, then it goes through the complete bank. It's uh, five different reverbs, two delays and one chorus. Um, different rooms, different kind of algorithms, and they are applied to the stereo mix of both of the filter banks. But if you want to play one side, maybe with a bass line from the modulator, you don't want to apply the effects, so you simply press for one second, then it blinks one time red, and the A channel is bypassed from the effects. So you can play dry bass and wet lead. So to make this unhappen, you just press it once again, and here you go. Different kind of functionalities inside, also a stereo mode or a serial mode, where channel A is routed into channel B, a stereo mode for plugging in uh, devices from outside and, and splitting them to left and right, then you only have to use one set of uh, knobs for uh, using both filters at once. Um, 
the envelopes work in cycle mode, in trigger mode, so you apply a trigger and it does the envelope once, or in gate mode, which is or flight mode, which is then sustaining as long as the gate is open. Um, when you are in looping mode and you make it very fast, you can use it also as an oscillator with a track in one volt per octave here. Um, then we come to the last module. The last module is the cockpit. Uh, the cockpit is a four channel um, stereo mixer. You can also jumper it on the back side that the channels are taken mono. Um, by clicking, you mute it. Then you can turn it louder and um, decrease and increase the level volume. And then you have uh, a sidechain compressor. The sidechain compressor does work in, in three different ways. Um, to assign a channel to the sidechain compressor, you simply press it and hold it for a second. In the first, uh, in the first um, way to sidechain, you can apply envelopes here. When you press all four buttons at once, for a second, it blinks twice, then you're in the secondary mode, and then this input takes audio, so you have an envelope follower uh, gaining the, the, um, uh, the envelope for the sidechain in from audio, for kick drums maybe or whatever. Uh, the fourth mode, and this is, this is the amount of sidechain. The fourth mode, uh, third mode, sorry, um, uh, is taking trigger. And this knob is not any longer um, the amount of sidechaining, but it is the length of decay after the trigger is coming in. So it's perfect for using it with clocks and different other kind of things. And uh, then you apply the amount of side chaining by pressing and turning. So you can select the amount of side chaining for each channel separately. This is only available in this mode. Also, another little feature is that uh, these jacks are actually TRRS jacks, which means there is a microphone um, uh, stripped to the cable. Um, I can show it right here. So, like the same jack for the uh, iPhone. Yeah, we have we have the same, we have our own cable for TRRS. It's the trippy cables. Um, and with that, channel one is sending a mono sum of the stereo input to channel three, uh, three and channel two to channel four. So what happens is this signal here goes to that jack, and with this cable, I'm sending it out and can put it into the iPad, then make effects in the iPad and returning it in the same cable to that channel. Okay. So I have a send and return for the iPad. Right. Talking about the iPad, maybe we just move over a little bit. Um, here we see a, a, typical, a typical setup that I would use to perform live. Um, I have my iPad connected to the shuttle with the camera connection kit only. There is no no other other gear required, just this uh, camera connection kit um, with a power supply, which is clever to, to maintain the, the power of the um, iPad during the live set. And right here I just have can, can program my notes in any app, what I'm using, as long as it's fitting out MIDI, it's going to work with the, with the shuttle control. And um, so basically I have here my notes, send them into the shuttle, produce my sound, then go out here, go back into the iPad, make my effects and return them. So I'm fully integrating the iPad with all the possibilities it, ha it, it provides. So that's, that's, that was basically the idea behind that. Right.
this is you can see the midi now. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. I thank you very much.